Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Priming, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm really not that kind of person. I don't. I don't get excited very easily. You know, it's usually pretty calm, and we talk about emotions and and deep thought and stuff to just make you think. You know, daily life stuff. But um, I wanted to try something today. And I think we need to start off by going and purchasing another plot because that's the whole reason I got the ice wood last time. Uh, ooh, if you happen to watch the last episode, I was up there struggling to get the uh, the ice trees back down here and get them all sold off, and I did. So here we go. Eleven thousand, I think, is enough to buy the next slot, isn't it? Hello, Reuven. Hello. So you want to buy some land, eh? Yes, I do. Oh, you already have land. Did you want to expand your land? Yes, I want to expand my land. Perfect. Oh, it's 12,000. Reuven, I'm sorry I'm going to have to quit today. Why don't you want my land? I just want... What did he say? Hold on. I didn't catch all of that, Reuven. Yes, I do. And so, yes, I want to expand my land. I'm going to pull out my handy-dandy Blue's Clues snippy tools. And we're going to go cancel or quit... Quit, alt tab, and control, and new. Why don't you want my land? I just want your money. Please support my family. We need help, 911. <laughs> wow. Wow, Reuven, is that? Here's, here, here's the screenshot of what I just captured. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> no, I don't know, Please give me money, PLZ, please, please. Okay, well, um, that, sucks <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to uh, get more wood stuff uh, money oh by the way there is a secret over there if you look in this area right here I know this was explained on Jack's video but uh, there is a oh there it is there is a new sign that appears but it clips through the wall because it's like it's right there and the graphics cards they have problems rendering at certain distances. So whatever that thing's made out of, it, uh, I think, is going to be Roblox merch of some kind? I don't know. I don't know what what, what the sign means. Um, so, well, that kind of ruins my plan, but I, I am going to need a lot of ice wood because I have a plan to create um, an ice slope. Well, I guess, I guess I want to build it closer, don't I? So I'm going to have to have a lot more land. Um, I tell you what, let's do this. Let's go and purchase a bunch of TNT. That way we can always get through the rocks nice and easy. And we don't have to sit there and mess with a, a bunch of a bunch of different uh, glitches just to get through the thing. And I will talk about life. How's that? <coughs> so, um, a lot of kids are doing the learn from home. A lot of parents are working remotely. And a lot of people are being confined and constrained and, and it's starting to take a toll on the human population, even yourself, as you're sitting there watching this video. If you, like me, are, are any, anything of a social butterfly, it's very hard to consider not being around people, not hanging out, not socializing, you know? Now, I've come to become, uh, like, I, I've gotten accustomed to not being around people just because I have so many interactions online that it's it's my social butterfly. It's my, my attention seeking that I do. So that's good, but it doesn't replace the fact that, like, I can't go out with a, a buddy to, to hang out and go bowling or something, you know? Which, my wife is my best friend. I mean, that's why we got married. So, that's that's something that I miss too. Where it was just me and her and we would have uh, a date or something, you know? The kids would go and spend the night over at someone's house and we would uh, hang out, watch a movie and pop popcorn and just me and her, you know? So, it is it is something of a need. You You need social interaction. Parents, talk to your kids, okay? Ask them how they're feeling, and do not disregard the, what they say 
as oh well you're just being selfish or oh you're just you're just talking this you know don't dismiss their feelings they're they're valid they are very valid very much as as ours are so kids make sure that you recognize that your parents are going through a lot a lot of people are going through a lot right now and it's okay everything will be okay i i promise you it will be okay this too will pass you know and you just have to take your turn to like just take time take time for yourself to recognize when your mental health is important it is very important and their mental health is important very important to uh keep their sanity <laughs> um it does it, it it takes a lot to be a stay-at-home parent uh, a single parent um a parent with a child of special needs and to to turn out to your company and you know make make the dial move it just it's a very hard thing to do so shout out to all parents out there and shout out to all kids having to do the homeschooling because i i've sat through some of my son's zoom classes or zern classes wait did that appear on the hold on is that mine that's mine i totally forgot to pick up the other one all right um because i've sat through the zoom classes and i've sat through uh their meetings and stuff it's just whew. like i was talking to my daughter the other day and she's like i can't believe this question has 20 questions on it wait i didn't purchase that did i sorry sorry bob <laughs> it's fine it happens all the time it happens uh, like wait what was i saying <laughs> um back whenever i was in school and this isn't like well back in my day well i, I guess it is kind of back in my day you're lucky you only got 20 questions i remember our worksheets had 50 50 questions and the teacher would be like you only get the answers to all the odd questions and y your answers would be in the back of the book or something like that that sucked now here's the other thing that i don't understand uh, between schools and colleges okay and this is no offense I, I don't take pride in saying this but why is it that teachers in high school high school teachers will come up to the board and they'll write their name well, i am mr Anderson, da, 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 and you will do as I say, and da, 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 ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, da, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, and start barking off these demands. But then you go to college, and the college professor is sitting there saying stuff like, "Hey, what's up? My name's Bob. I'm gonna be your uh, your instructor for this semester. I've got two PhDs in uh, computer science and uh, a master's in uh, computer programming. And you know what? We're we're gonna have a very chill." semester whoa what in the difference what what happened where where did the difference come from well i'll tell you this in high school in school if you go to a public school it is paid by the government okay that is that is federally funded state funded and their pay is not all that great any teacher's pay is really not it's not worthy of the cause that they are behind but it's also that you're not paying for the class there's no loss to you if you don't pay attention in college you're paying for the class so if you act in college the way that you act in high school where you just don't care it's going to come back around to you it just happens and what you need to understand is in college you're paying for that class so if you don't learn and you fail that class you just paid to sit in a class and fail now that's not to make you feel bad okay and here's another thing if you're making straight a's all a's across the board good good for you but if you are making straight C's across the board, good. 
good for you because C is supposed to be the average. A is above and beyond extraordinary. B means you're smarter than average. And do not take standardized testing as a show of intelligence. I am horrible at testing. By Dynamite for 220? Yes. I'm, I'm bad at testing. So whenever there were tests that came up, I absolutely utilized my ADHD EID or, or was it EID? IED? I, IEP? Individual Education Program, IEP. I absolutely use that for test because uh, the problem with tests is I start to stress out about them because I think that I didn't study even though I did study and for some reason in my head I get it mixed up backwards that I didn't study but so then I get anxious about the, the test and I end up fiddling with my pencil and, and not paying attention and worrying about whether or not I wrote my name on the paper and I start worrying about things that are beyond the control of what I'm supposed to actually be doing which is the test. So <clears throat> that's just me. That's, that's something that happens. So what I usually do is um, I actually had an IEP, Individual Education Program. So I would go down to the special ed room, the special education's room. And yes, I was in special ed. I would go down to the special room where there was a teacher and oh gosh, I can't even remember her name. She was the nicest teacher in the world. But here's the crazy thing. I knew at that point in high school that my medicine or my medicine didn't quite work as well as a cup of coffee. So she let me bring in my own Folgers, my own coffee pot and set it in, inside her classroom. So I would come down, make a pot of coffee, grab my cup, grab some sugar, grab some cream, and I would drink a cup of coffee while I took my test and she would read it to me if I needed it. Because I, I, like you guys have seen, I've, I've said it before, I'm a horrible reader. I'm bad at reading. <clears throat> now, now that I've gotten all personal with you and I've, I've said what my ADHD things are, um, real quick, is it techno cow? Tech cow something? Tech, tech. We were watching Defaultio's stream and you had said something. You said, uh, I wish I could program but my ADHD gets in the way. I want you to know that you are still young and you have not yet utilized the power of what your ADHD can do. Because with programming, okay, the reason I'm good at programming is because I get what's called hyper-focused and Hyper focusing on something is when you get so zoned in to the thing that you're working on or the thing that you're doing that it becomes an obsession, a compulsion, a need to finish it or a need to continue it no matter what the cost. I have found myself awake at 4.30 in the morning with work at 6 a.m. because I wanted to figure out how the Roblox uh, anchor system worked. That is the the impulsivity part of me that is the adhd that comes out that is my superpower because when it comes to something that i don't want to do at work let's say there's a there is a application i'm just not feeling it it has to do with sales spreadsheets or something i i, I don't know just an example i will take and learn that person's job before touching the project. I will go see what it's all about. I will see how they would go and do it by themselves. And then I would start to build the application. And only then would I actually get zoned in. I would then want to know exactly how my program will em emulate what they need and what they're doing. That's, that's my hyper focus, which is also why I think my boss has kept me around for so long. Because <laughs> I can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Just saying. <clears throat> Anyhow. Oh, for those of you that didn't know, I'm an application development analyst for a very large company. Um, it's, well, semi-large. Semi is it semi-large? It's pretty large. It's a large company. Um, when 
Oh, I didn't pay for that one either. I'm I'm sorry, Bob. <laughs> it's okay. Anytime. You've you've bought more than enough dynamite from my store, and you've been a good friend, Code. Friend? Fr do do we hang out? Well, no, not exactly. But you are my friend. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. You you are my friend too. <laughs> All right, I I gotta go. <laughs> Bye, Code. Bye, Bob. Okay. So utilize the powers that you have. I promise. You you just don't understand the power of what you can do. I've said this before, haven't I? In fact, I've I've reiterated this many times and I want you anyone, not not just you tech, anyone. Anyone watching this channel right now. If you're doing a different job at the moment, do it to the best of your ability. Now, I also hear people all the time complain about their job. They're like, oh man, I just, I hate my job. I, I can't stand working to just quit. That, that's a simple solution. Well, no, I can't quit. I just, I've been working there for blah, blah, blah. And it's, that's my form of income. There are other jobs. And the job market is, I know at this time, might not be to its full capacity, but there's more to life. There is so much more out there. And you can do it. You can absolutely go and get pretty much any job you want. Now, with that being said, I, I have a different looking resume than most people. I have a very amazing looking resume. It didn't always used to look like that. You know, here I am, this ADHD kid that came out of, out of high school and didn't know where he was going in life. I, I was designated, oh, forgot my dynamite. I was designated as special education. I was a special ed kid, you know? And up until that time, I had always thought of special ed as being a place for the mentally retarded. And yes, I'll say that out loud because there were multiple people inside the same classroom that I was going to that they had Down syndrome, they had autism, uh, they had mental retardation. Like, and a lot of them, I noticed, were a lot nicer than most of the general population of my high school. So when I, when I say I was in special ed, I don't take that lightly. When I tell you that I have ADHD, I have something that was diagnosed by a doctor and told, was told that you're gonna need help for the rest of your life. Here I am, 39 years old. I've been through the Marine Corps, it was amazing. I have two college degrees. I'm a high school graduate. I've got a really nice job. I'm an application development analyst. I'm a programmer. I'm a YouTube star. I'm a Roblox star. Even though I'm not part of the Roblox star program and we're not gonna talk about it, but I am. I'm, I'm huge. I wrote a book. The guy that has trouble reading wrote a book for people who hate how to read, who, who hate reading. That's pretty big. That's really saying something. And I hope that if you are diagnosed with ADHD, don't use it as a crutch and don't let people call you learning disabled. If anything, I would call you hyper-focused, learning accelerated. It's just you gotta find the topic that you're interested in. And trust me, there's there's been many things that are boring in my life that I didn't want to learn or do, but you know what? High school and school are pretty simple and it's it's a mental game until, until you get to the, oh gosh, stop, stop, stop. stop. Oh, I almost lost it. Oh yeah, I lost it, I lost it, I lost it. 
<sighs> it really is. And if you're looking to go into the military, this is for the older generation, the, the 15, 16, 17 year olds. If you're looking to go into the military, I highly recommend doing college first and then going in and joining as an officer or an officer select. Oh, dang it. it fell out again. And that's just for the simple reason I've been there, done that. I've been enlisted before. And if I had known then what I know now, I definitely would have gone in as an officer first. I would I would have gone and gotten some college under my belt. Rotate, rotate. I need to do a turn, turn. No, and do another rotate and a turn, turn. Oh, wait, I'm right. I'm right side up. Never mind. <clears throat> so, just saying, if you're thinking about going to the military, or if, if you're not thinking about the military, either way, you know, do what makes you happy. Go get some college under your belt because it's it's not high school and have fun. And if you're thinking to yourself, I don't have money for college or my family's too poor for college or I can't afford college. There are plenty of grants and there are plenty of loans out there in the world. And I don't want you to get stuck into a bunch of college debt, but definitely go, go get some education. There's a, there's a guy on the internet who says, don't go to school. Don't go to high school. Don't go to things. It's a, it's a farce. It's fake. It's a money-making machine. You know what? It's really not. I will tell you right now from experience that my education that I got inside college was amazing. It was an outstanding way to meet people, to learn to socialize in a completely different manner. And... I learned from it. I, I got good knowledge. The books were expensive. And always check for downloadable PDFs before you go and buy the full purchase of the book. <clears throat> Just saying. I won't say anything more on that topic because I don't believe in piracy. <clears throat> but I also don't believe in paying $500 for a textbook that you use one time and then it's got an access code in there for some website that you needed access to where you could have just gone to the website and purchased it for five bucks instead of 395 for the Excel sheets. So yeah, that's, that's my uh, take <laughs> on uh, going to college. Definitely a, an experience that I think that everybody needs. And I'm also the kind of person that says everybody needs to serve in the military at least once. In fact, I, I think it should be mandatory. Like after high school, you spend two years in the military, at least get through boot camp and then go see the world. Get out of the house, you know? And again, it's a different time in history because we've got COVID going on. We've got all this other stuff going on. These uh, presidencies, Twitters and I just, <clears throat> I guess I need to remember that it's not the same when I was a kid, when I was going through high school. That's, that's the big difference, but it's totally doable. Like you want to become a YouTube star? Go be a YouTube star. Go do it. I mean, you watch YouTube videos, you know, the format, you know how it's supposed to work. You could do it. Well, code, I don't know how to edit videos. Fine, go learn. Look up the, the most common film editing software for free. You'll find like a, a website, top 10 free video website editing tools. Uh, be careful of Nearsoft, uh, anything Nearsoft, just saying, because there's a additional code inside there that you might not want on your computer. <clears throat> or at least there was back a couple of years ago. I don't know if it is now, but OBS. Use OBS to down uh, to to record. Um, Hit Films is a really good video editing software, and for single individual use, it is absolutely uh, free for making like YouTube videos and stuff like that. And I don't even know. A am I an actual business? Is Code Primate finally a brand, a company, an LLC? Oh, maybe. Uh, exciting news to come. Oh gosh, how's this gonna fit in there? You're gonna, oh, you're gonna lock in, aren't you? Nice, I was worried about that. 
Okay. We are going to go down this thing at full speed. It, we're, we're at 25 minutes, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get all this back and uh, milled out. But I definitely, definitely got a lot. So, hopefully next video I'll have, uh, have enough money to purchase some cool things for you. And you're welcome. I guess I, I could always pause it here. I mean, no, we'll, we'll finish it out. We've had some good talks. We've had a, a lot of good discussion this time. Well, I guess it's, I guess it's really not discussion. Because discussion, no, conversation would be two ways. Discussion, I can sit here and just talk to myself. It'll be fine. In fact, it's the weirdest thing to me. Like, honestly, sitting here recording, what you're watching on the screen right now, it, it feels normal. This is people or on, the, on YouTube talking to their fans, talking to their audience, talking to you. And you know what's, what's like crazy? The reality of the situation is I'm in my garage. There's nobody around. And I'm speaking into a camera. All by myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been in, in lockdown a little too long. Actually, I, I think I've been doing pretty well for the most part. I don't think I've had a mental breakdown quite yet. No, this is, this is going to be some skills. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to back up just like this. I'm going to stop! No! Okay, maybe I'm not going to stop. Maybe I'm just going to go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. we got to get back up there. got to get back up there. I wish there were a way that we could go up the slide. You know? Do you remember doing that on the, on the playground? Like, I remember getting yelled at for that. Going up the down slide part like get down from there what are you doing I'm going up the down what are you doing I'm yelling at you for going up the down wait what that doesn't make sense why would you yell at me for that it's amazing you should try it get down from there why you can't make me you're not my dad who are you <laughs> I you're right Where's your parents? <laughs> they didn't come to the park today. <laughs> and then your mom calls you and like, what are you doing? I don't know, this strange man told me not to go up to down. And then they look at you like, what strange man? And you look around and realize that you've just been talking to yourself again. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, good times, good times. Is this two? That's two and one, isn't it? Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop these right now. We're gonna chop them all up and get them into... Didn't I say just do the logs last time? I did, didn't I? This is gonna be a long time. This is going to take a while. You know what, I, I can drive this into a better spot. Oh, that might have been a little too close, just saying. There we go, all right, grab that. That. Okay, are we stuck? Are you stuck? Come here. There you go. Good job. There's one. Right there. Ah, two. We're at 29 minutes. Just a little bit of time left. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And thank you for watching my videos. Without you, I wouldn't be a YouTuber. And that's very true. Are we going to keep the small ones this time? Yeah, let's keep the small ones. Why not? We'll keep the small ones. Good times. You know what? I don't want to chop them all. Is there a way to just sawmill them and get them done? Maybe. It is 11.55 at night. I, I might not finish this out. Please don't get kicked off the internet. Please don't get kicked off the internet. Please don't get kicked off the internet. Thank you. All right. 
That's good, I think. 30 minutes. Now, with that being said, just so you know, most television shows are actually only 15 minutes with like 15 minutes of commercials in between there. So 30 minute episodes are chopped down into like 15 minute episodes. If you look at it in all actuality. Plus you have to have the intro and the outflow. Oh, hold on one second. That was my wife. We did the um, the bathroom floor. We retiled the bathroom floor. So, what was I saying? I don't even remember. But that's fine. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the video. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. I love you guys for being here and just watching. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro. That, that was kind of poppy. Poppy. I'm poppy. I'm poppy. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.